Hey folks, my name is Todd Mansfield. I'm here from Byron Herbalist and today we're going to be talking about methane dominant SIBO. What it is, how to test for it, and a few natural treatment approaches that I've found very effective. So first off, what is methane dominant SIBO? Methane dominant SIBO is a subset of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. You've got a number of different varieties. You can have hydrogen dominant, methane dominant, you can have mixed, you can have hydrogen sulfide dominant, and you can also have small intestinal fungal overgrowth. Now the number one symptom for methane dominant SIBO that I see most significantly associated with this condition is constipation. And that's because methane actually slows down transit time through the gut. So people present with constipation, you know, maybe they're only going once or twice a week. They might be straining or they might have incomplete evacuation. So like they're not quite done with their bowel movement. If I see these associated with bloating, you know, so maybe bloating upon rising, maybe bloating more and more throughout the day, or maybe bloating after foods high in FODMAPs, so let's say onions, then I will go ahead and order a SIBO breath test. So, a SIBO breath test. What is it? How do you work it? They are the most affordable and least invasive way of assessing for SIBO. Basically, you consume a sugar and then capture your breath at specific intervals throughout the um, you know two to three hours send them off to the lab and then the lab assesses it uh, for hydrogen and methane and if there's a significant rise in either one then the chances that you have bacterial overgrowth in your small intestine are quite high i've found three herbal medicines to be incredibly effective but before we get to the herbal medicines Let's talk a little bit about ensuring that you have at least one bowel movement per day because that's extremely important. So the best way to do this, I've found, is a very well-tolerated prebiotic known as partially hydrolyzed guar gum. You can start with a very small amount and just work your way up to a therapeutic dose over two to three weeks. And in most people, it's well-tolerated, doesn't flare their SIBO, and it helps them have a bowel movement every day. All right, now let's get on to the herbal antimicrobials. I found three really effective herbs that I always ensure are part of my formula when I'm treating methane dominant SIBO. Number one, we've got oregano leaf. Not the oil, I found the oil is a little bit too harsh and a little bit too potent. But the leaf still has that oil in it, right? But it also has a bunch of other synergistic active constituents. And the same goes for the second herbal medicine, that's cinnamon. So both the oregano and the cinnamon, um, they can be stored in tincture. That's the best way to store them and consume them. And then the third one that doesn't go so well in tincture is garlic and fresh is best. So you either want to crush it or you want to finely dice it and you want to consume it fresh. And that's the best way to get the allicin, which is the active constituent, into you. And it's the most effective way at reducing methane producing bugs. So I hope that's helped. Leave a comment below if you have methane dominant SIBO or you suspect you have methane dominant SIBO. Yeah, I really like hearing from you guys and like engaging and, um, you know, hearing your experiences. And if you want to reach out to me, you can find me at uh, byronherbalist.com.au. You know, if you suspect you have SIBO and you want help with your uh, digestive health concerns, then yeah, reach out and we'll see if we can help you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.